Hello, Pio Nation. I hope you're doing well. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Married Ecology Sports. So today, we have a lot going on. We have four matches throughout the entire day. So in just a couple of minutes, our Overwatch team will be going up against Muskegon University. Whenever Marion and Muskegon go at each other, it's always a great time. The rivalry there has been historic for so many years in the OAC. So being able to see that in the GLEC is quite awesome. But since we have a whole lot going on today, I'm just going to go straight into the schedule so that we have an idea of what is going to be uh, going on. So as I mentioned, our Overwatch team would be playing against Muskingum uh, in, uh, in just a few minutes. We're getting the lobby set up, and I think we're just trying to get everyone invited. And then immediately after that, our League of Legends team is going up against Grace College. Now, technically, they're playing Grace College as we speak, but it's really hard to uh, stream two different matches at the same time. So we're going to get the, the game files from that match, and then we're going to stream that uh, to you. So I already kind of know how the game is going. I'm not going to spoil it, uh, but we do hope you stick around after Overwatch match to check that out. And then... Uh, later on today, around 4 o'clock, I'm going to try to pronounce this correctly. I, I apologize if I don't. Uh, but at 4 o'clock, our League of Legends team will have a C-Law match against Wabansi Community College. And then tonight, at 8 o'clock, our Rainbow Six team will be playing against Ohio Northern. Uh, now, this is their JV team, but it's still Ohio Northern. So we have... We're, we're going to be doing matches all day. We will have the stream kind of go off and on in between some of the uh, the matches. But, all right, it looks like everyone is in the lobby. So let's take a look at the roster for our Overwatch team who will be playing today. So in the tank positions, we will have Freshman Mason Flash, Harmful Hades, Junior Drayton Piper, Shaken Dwarf. At DPS, we will have Sophomore Caleb Brady, Shadow Dragon, and Freshman Corey McFan, C4 Gamer. And then at support, uh, we will have Junior Morgan White Poseidon. He'll be on Neptune today. And then uh, support freshman uh, Tyler Salnitra as a Dale. But uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty exciting. The, the Pioneers came off of a great win against uh, Texas A&M on a Thursday. Uh, so they're reinvigorated, but they're going up against a very good uh, Muskingum University. So uh, we're getting things set up here for the lobby. So we... Uh, should get things uh, underway in just a minute. In fact, I'm going to make sure I get the audio set up. Uh, this will be a best of five. And it looks like the first map will be Oasis. But okay, yeah, everyone. Yeah, so we're just getting a couple of logistics with the uh, lobby figured out here. Yeah, all right, so getting spectators stuff set up. But yeah, so we should be underway and in, in, yeah, just making sure folks, but yeah, everything seems to be good. So I think we'll be starting in just uh, a minute or so, but yeah, as I said, the, the, Pine, the Overwatch team, they definitely had their ups and downs uh, this season. A lot of the teams in the GLEC are very good. Uh, and Muskingum is no exception to that. So now we're going to see how Marietta does uh, against Muskingum. They've been playing Muskingum quite a few times. I think we played them earlier this semester, and then maybe two or three times last uh, semester. But yeah, this is going to be really exciting. So uh, I hope you guys are excited for that. So in fact, I got to make sure to remember to get the prediction up uh, once the game is uh, underway here. Yeah, everyone's just kind of have some friendly chat in the, the lobby before uh, the match begins. Everyone's having a good time. That's what this is all about. Having some fun. Um, but yeah, we will see how we go. It looks like the ready checks are coming in. Looks like Muskingum is ready. And Mariana is ready. So I think we are underway to get this match up and running. All we gotta do is wait for the go mode. And we are in go mode, folks, so let's get into this match. Well 
Marietta College versus Muskingum University. We are on Oasis. So we'll see what kind of composition the teams will be going for. What's the win conditions? What's the strategies? All right, maybe we'll move over here. See here, Barry is going to be on the blue side, and Muskinga will be on the red side. Ready. All right, we see the compositions. Looks like Marietta is going to be. Looks like we're seeing mirror tank compositions with Zarya Reinhardt. DPS wise, C4 Gamer Shadow Dragon are going with their comfort picks with Junkrat and the Hanzo. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like uh, Trev Daddy and Slam Ducky will be going with the Hanzo McCree. And then it supports. Five. Yeah, it looks like Mary is kind of going with some comfort picks uh, with their composition. Round one. And I'm going to guess Miss King is doing something similar, but all right, folks. Let's see how things go. Mary is actually going to rotate over into the room. And actually going to try to take the high ground. As you know, the high ground, you got the advantage there. It's all over. But Asadil is going to fall very quickly. So Neptune, so both supports have fallen for Marietta. And Muskinga is probably going to be able to pick off the Pioneers one by one with the supports gone. Muskinga will take the point very quickly. No one from the Muskies has fallen. So that was just... Marietta getting caught in the back line and the supports falling and after that there was not much that Marietta can do. We can see Muskingum's already looking and trying to put some pressure on the Pioneers as they work their way around to see if they can retake the point. So they're going to rotate around into that middle area and start working their way in. Reinhardt's going to be trying to charge in. Marietta's going to be looking for a pick. Junkrat's going to come in. Try to take the high ground, see if he can get some damage out. Charge is going to come out. Immortality field will also come out, and which does end up falling. There he is, trying to find a pick. Rafam is very low in health. High news coming out for Trev Daddy. Does not get anyone. And then here comes the window for Neptune. But two for the Pioneers have gone. So two for one trade. The three for the Pioneers have fallen, and now Mary is going to be forced to retreat. And Rafam for Muskingum will get the res. So it started very well, but but the Muskies were able to pick off uh, enough of Marietta to win that team fight. So they're gonna have to come up with a different approach. So let's see what Marietta's gonna do. They're gonna try rotating around again. Oops, that's my bad. Alright, Harmful Hades does end up falling. Now it's just a matter of how will Marietta adjust and grab it. The grab is going to come out and Dragons. Immortality Field will kind of save them, but the flashbang from Trav Daddy was enough to finish off the Pioneers. So it's going to look like that Muskingum will take the first point. I knew it's going to come out. Trev Daddy does take out C4 Gamer. And Muskinga will take that first. Yeah, they'll take the first point. Ready for battle. All right, so we will see how Marietta can adjust to this. This Marietta was able to choose the first map, so they decided to go with Oasis. Looks like they're gonna they're gonna swap to the uh, the Anna and the McCree this time, and then once again they're gonna rotate over to the left side. And interesting, Muskingum actually rotates to the opposite side as well. But Muskingum will kind of lay it onto the point first. There it is, trying to use that high ground to get the cover they need. 
See if they can get some picks. And Lava does get down pretty low. He does not go down. Because Skingham is working on taking the point. And Mary is going to start dropping in. And Rafam from Skingham has gone down. This may be Marietta's chance to take the point. And so and Lava has fallen. But Shadow Dragon has fallen from behind. It's a, it's training all over. Trend Daddy is just taking out quite a few of the pioneers. So Marietta was winning the fight, but then Trev Daddy was able to come from behind and uh, carry the team. And now it's a 2v2. And it's just Azadil that's left. And Muskinga will end up winning the fight. So Marietta was getting the engage, but it just seemed, seemed like they were on the same page on who were the priority targets after getting the first pick. Now Marietta's kind of pinned. They're going to have to work their way in. We're seeing the tanks trying to get the engage, breaking the Reinhardt shield. I knew it was going to be coming out. And Trev Daddy takes out one with it, but is able to finish off Shadow Dragon. So that's three. There's already three down, four down for the Pioneers. And Muskinga will drive Marietta off the point, forcing them to retreat. Marietta does have two ult ready, almost three, but Muskingum has three ready themselves. Actually, Muskingum now has four ults ready to go. Another area is going to group around. Dando's going to be coming out for the run, looking for a shatter. They got to try to take out that shield and then shatter. But Marietta's going to get shattered first. And that's going to be enough for Muskingum to take out the rest of the Pioneers. So great discipline by Muskingum to hold off on that shower. But now Marietta may only have one more fight. And they have to take this point. Otherwise game one will go to Muskingum. Muskingum still has Grab Dragons ready. I'm expecting to try to use it on this play right here. And there comes the Grab Dragons. The Shield Immortality Field comes out. But Marietta is going to counter with her own Grab Dragons. But Marietta is going to end up falling as a result with the cleanup by Muskingum. And that is probably going to, that will be it for game one. But Muskingum will take that game. But yeah, just very well executed by Muskingum. Uh, getting the the in the picks. Yeah, we see the grab dragons coming out. T4 gamer was able to take out three from the Skingum, but it was basically a three for three trade, and Trev Daddy was stayed alive, which was enough to uh, win that fight. So, all right, Muskingum will take game one. It is a best of five series, though. So, Marianna still has a chance to come back. But we'll see uh, what adjustments are made. We're just going to let everyone get back into the lobby. And Marianna will get to choose the next map, which I believe will be Hybrid. I think we messed up last week with the, the map picks, so that that's on me. But yeah, so Hybrid is the next choice. We'll see what Marina decides to, to go with for that. Anything in the lobby just yet, so I don't know who's going with what. So once I know what we're doing, guys, I will get that to you, but I'm just waiting for... Yeah, no one's saying what map they want to pick. Actually, it looks like Marietta's going to go with Rialto. The Muskinga will get to choose the side. And 
And Muskingum wants to be on defense first, which does make sense. Actually, no, it was not Rialto. Uh, it's actually going to be Eichenwald. Okay, looks like everything is set up, so we should be underway. Here we go, folks. So Marietta will be on offense first on Eichenwald. So it's really going to come down to this choke point right here. If Marietta can get through the choke point, then should have a good shot of getting through. Okay, it looks like Barry is going to go with a Diva Ryan composition this time. And they're going to go with the Soldier 76 instead of the Hanzo. Well, no, I'm sorry. They're, they're still keeping the Hanzo, but C4 game is going to be on it. Meanwhile, Muskingum seems to be still going with the Zarya Ryan combo, but now they're bringing out the May instead of the McCree. We're looking to throw up walls and slow down the pioneers. Five, four, three, two, one. Attackers incoming. Yeah. Then... All right, I see Marietta going in right from the beat. Now let's see if they can get through this choke point. They are starting to push through. Breaks down the Rhine shield. It's not going to allow them to get some picks. The Maywall comes out to split the team. But many from his kingdom are low on health. Actually, that's many from Marietta too. So a harmful Hades from Marietta does fall because he was separated from the rest of the team with that Maywall. And Marietta is forced to fall back. You know, Neptune's just having to keep everyone alive. Now Marietta's gonna take another shot at trying to uh, get through the point. And we see the gravity coming out. The Barry is going to try to make their push. Even Mech is out though, so that's going to force Marianne to retreat. Blizzard's going to be coming out, and it's going to catch several finders. The window's going to be coming out for Muskingum, and they're going to start picking off Marianne and forcing them back. Yeah, Marianne is just struggling to get picks, and they're going to have to reset. But they already have Shatter. They have Dragons ready to go. Marietta has Shatter. They will have Dragons up pretty soon as well as Beat. So we'll see if that will help. Maywall comes out. Once again, it's going to separate the Pioneers. Shadow's going to come out. And so is Dragons from Muskinga. Powerful Hades is very low on health. Actually, I'm sorry. Ampar Hades used the, the uh, Shatter. And we see C4 Gamer using the dragons to try to zone out Muskinga. The C4 Gamer is going to fall. So it's a one for one. The res does come out for Muskinga. Although Baptiste for Muskinga is falling. Windows <clears throat> what is going to come out by Neptune to see if they can try to get a pick there. Many from the from the Pioneers is still kind of low. They're getting healed back up. But that May wall has definitely been a problem for Marietta. Just trying to split the team. Gravity Well does come out. Rafam does fall. This may be Marietta's chance. Blizzard comes out. Trap Daddy's going to try to get to the back line to take out people. Does take out C4 Gamer. So it is a one for one. We're going to see Harmful Hades is going to fall. Diva Bomb is going to come out. It will not catch anyone. In fact, Shaken Dwarf does end up falling. But yeah, Trap Daddy is just playing very well with the May Walls to split Marietta from being able to group up. And that allows him to get a pick. One minute remains. Marion is going to have to find something. They do get Yuki down. So this may be their opportunity. Because they have to get onto the point. 
Now Mary's gonna take over Fawn, but C4 Gamer's gonna get picked off. But now we see Mary going for the point. Shatter's gonna come out for Harmful Hades. And Marion is cleaning up, and they should secure the payload. It took them a while to do that, though, so that could be a concern later on. But they do secure the point. They have three minutes to get the point over to the next checkpoint. Is Marion looking to try to buy some space? See, looking to try to see if they pick up the right heart going up uh, very hard. The window's going to be coming out. Where Fong does fall for Muskinga, so does Yuki. So that's two down. And Muskinga will pretty much clean up with a pick out four from the Muskies. Five are down now. So great job by the Pioneers to get that space. And they do take out Trev Daddy. So a great stagger by there. This is exactly what Mariana needs to get back into this game. And that's going to be a little bit while for, for Muskinga to regroup because of that late pick onto Trev Daddy. But now we see Muskinga looking to re-engage. We see the Zarya up on top. Gravity is Gravity Well is ready. It's probably going to be looking to try to grab from behind. Muskinga has everything ready. They're going to use the Dragon's double dragon here, folks. But that's going to connect two. And Marietta is going to end up going down with three or four. Pretty much everyone is down except for Shaken Dwarf. He's going to try to retreat, but I think he's going to just delay the inevitable. And that will be a, an unofficial team kill for Muskingum. Marietta will be respawning. Muskingum still has three ults ready. Shatter, Blizzard. Uh, they do have the window ready. Meanwhile, Marietta is going to have three, almost four ults ready for them. But now they have to work on trying to win another team fight if they want to continue pushing that payload. Marietta is going to rotate up to the tower. And see if they can get the high ground advantage. I'm sorry, Mary is doing a better job moving around as a group for the most part. Diva Bomb's coming out and the visor. Yuki comes out. And that's a that's 2k. That's three down already. That's Although Eskingham is trying to re-engage, but overall Marietta has won that. Rafalm is down. Trev Daddy is the only one's left. Beat's gonna be coming out. An interesting choice there. That might not but not that might not have been necessary if I can talk, folks. But, Marietta does win the fight. Only have to be careful. Trev Daddy is still kind of around the back lines, causing problems for the Pioneers. The Muskingum is going to be looking to get the re-engage, but it's just Shaken Dwarf by himself. And the window is going to be coming out, but Marietta has 20 seconds. They're going to have to get onto the point now if they want to continue. And everyone's down. So that might be the round, folks. Yeah, Muskinga is looking to try to use dragons to zone Marietta off, but I don't see how anyone can get there in three seconds. Ryan is going to try to get there. And Shankendorf almost made it. And Harpo Hades tried to get over there. He used the charge, ended up taking someone down and himself in the process. So Marietta made good progress, but the problem that they're going to have is that it took so long to capture that first point that Muskingum just has to get the payload over to right about here in order to win map two. But Marietta's going to have to put together a really good defense. If they can hold, even if, if they can take it for a while, like, like they're going to have to get Muskingum to be able to take the first point with very little time on the clock. If Muskingum is able to take the point early on, then that's going to be a huge problem for Marietta. So we'll see how Marietta does uh, on defense. Yeah, it looks like Marietta's going to go with the, the same composition that they did while they were on offense. Yeah, C4 Gamer just trying to get a little scouting to figure out who is over there looking at the silhouettes. Five, 
But all right, Shangnor gets an early pick on the grab uh, on the on the Trev Daddy, which is huge for Marietta. But Trev Daddy will be rezzed by Yuki. Shadow Dragon does end up falling though for Marietta, so that's going to be Muskingo's opportunity to press forward. And Rafam is going to be pinning down Harmful Hades, but he's going to end up falling. But Harmful Hades goes down himself. So right now it's just been one for one trades. Trev Daddy's trying to get into the back line. Two are down for Marietta. Lava goes down for Muskinga, but right now the numbers advantage is with Muskinga. They are starting to work on taking the point. Trev Daddy's in the back lines. Jacob Dwarf is going to try to get an answer for it and does end up taking him down. And so is Slam Ducky going down. So Marietta is starting to hold, which is exactly what they need. They have to be able to eat this clock. Yeah, Marietta has to respect... Uh, the Genji just trying to get into the back line and take down the, the Pioneers. But, okay, but Dragon Blade is almost ready for Trev Daddy, and so is Dragons for Hanzo. And here comes the Dragon Blade trying to get into the black line to take out everyone. Already taken down two. Shadow's going to come out, and this is going to be a team fight for Muskinga, and they're going to capture the point with two and a half minutes to go. This is not what Marietta needs. So now Muskingo has just a little less than five minutes to get the payload over to the bridge. So the question is, can Marietta hold? We do see Shekador swap it over to the Sigma. I think that might be a better counter to the Genji double shields. Now we see Muskingo start moving up the, the payload. So a great move there by Shanky Dwarf to eat the grab drop flux, but here comes the dra here comes dragons for Marietta. Rafal goes down, Marietta is taken out one by one. So that's four for Muskinga Fallen. Five have fallen. And all that's left is the Ana, and they're gonna try to chase her down. At least Azadel's gonna try to take her out. Gotta be careful though, don't get greedy because Muskingum is coming back. But a great stop there by Marietta. Four minutes now remains in the round. And they have two ults ready to go. Meanwhile, Muskingo does not have anything available for this next fight. Dragons is almost ready. But I have to give credit to Shakedorf there. Just being able to soak up that grab. The shatter comes out, but the shield was up. So Marina will not be able to capitalize on it. Muskingo is starting to push the payload. Marina is going to have to fall back. Got to respect the space that Marina is, uh, Muskingo is trying to take. Window's going to be coming out. This may be a chance to get some poke damage out. Trap Daddy does go down, but a shadow is going to come out. Uh, for Muskinga, but Marion is able to follow through and take down four of the muskies. And that will drive them back. Hello. So a great play there by Marion to hold off Muskinga. Just eating that clock more, pushing the payload back. Now is going to be looking to re-engage. They have Valkyrie, they do have dragons. Dragon Blaze about ready. This is exactly the combination that Muskinga used to win the fight earlier. Slam Ducky gets an early pick onto Azadale, which is going to be a problem. And here comes the Dragon Blade in the back line. Grab out Flux is going to come out. It's going to actually catch the Genji. But Marion is still falling one by one. Rafam does end up falling. And the Dragons is going to come out. Not going to connect with anything. But Muskingum is taking down most of the Pioneers. They've all fallen. And that might be enough. That one team kill may be enough for Muskingum to take the point. Marion is not going to be able to contest. They're going to use Dragons to try to zone out Marietta. And that's all it took. They were able to keep pushing the point. And get into that team fight, and Muskinga will take map two. Play of the game. But with that, Muskinga will take the. Second map. So Marietta had some some good points and some really good plays. But I think it just came down to the fact that Mus uh, Muskinga has some really good players and they're able to capitalize, get into the back line and take down the Pioneers. So in fact, the, the two main fights that Muskinga won there were when Trav Daddy used the Genji ult. And just able to get in the back lane and take down the team. So when Muskinga won those two fights, that was enough to take the first point and enough to 
uh, take the the map. But all right. So next map is going to be Escort. But all right, it looks like it is going to be Rialto. Muskingum is ready. We'll see if Marietta is ready. I'm going to go over just a couple things. Okay, we're just ready checks are coming out. So as soon as it looks like Marietta is ready, so we should be getting this underway. Just say hit the button. They hit the button. So I will hit the button so we get into Rialto. This is match point for Muskingum. So we'll see if Marietta can get the uh All right, so we'll see what compositions everyone's going to go with. Marietta will be on offense first. It looks like Neptune's going to be on the Ana. Azadeh will be on the Mercy. And Shagandor's going to be on the Roadhog. Everything else is going to be the same as before. And it looks like Muskin's going to be using a similar comp from, from previously. Uh, Reinhardt Zarya. This time Yuki's going to be on the Baptiste. Trav Daddy will be on the McCree. Glenn Ducky is going to stay on that Hanzo. The No Shaken Dwarf is going to be looking to see if he can get some hooks uh, early on. A Rhine Shield may make that a little bit tricky, though. Five, Speaking of tricky, we do see uh, Lava over here on Lucio, maybe looking to get a boop as well. See, the hook comes out, not going to connect with anyone. Right, we'll start to push that payload. Lucio's going to come in looking for that boot. Trap Daddy does end up going down. Lucio's in the back line, does not get the boot that he wants, and he's going to end up paying for it. Marietta's now going to get onto her phone. Great hook there. So that's already three down from Muskingum, so Marietta will continue pushing that payload. There's a hook on, a great hook there onto the Zarya. So that's going to stagger Muskingum even more. And then they get another hook onto Lava. Shaken Dwarf is just on fire with these hooks today. Except for that very first one. Now they're getting refunded. A great sleep there by Neptune onto Trev Daddy, who is up at the top. And that's going to give Mary a chance to. Another hook there by Shaken Dwarf. What is up with these hooks? And Marionette will take the first point. And they got 5 minutes and 20 seconds to get to the next one. Mary is going to be pushing out, trying to buy some space. They're going to get into the, the building here. Going to have to move back out. Rotate around to the side. Degador's going to try to look for the hook. Does not connect this time. Nano's going to come out and whole hog. Jacob Dwarf is just going to keep pushing Muskinga back. Trying to buy space. We do see Trev Daddy's kind of come up to the high ground. He doesn't have High Noon ready, but he's looking for a pick. Mary is going to have to retreat back. So Mary in the box of space. Glendo's going to come out for Muskingum. Trying to see if they can use that to get a pick, but Mary's going to continue to drive off. But now they're starting to get some picks. They get C4 Gamer and Harmful Hades. Another hook by a Shaken Dwarf, but it's not going to be enough follow through this time, and he's going to end up following. So Muskingum does end up winning that fight, and will drive the Pioneers back. 
Now they're going to be working on trying to buy some space and stagger Marietta. As it does fall, so Mary's going to have to fall back. They're going to have to regroup. But Marietta has four ulti ults ready. Muskingum has five. This next fight is probably going to be nuts. Now Marietta has about four minutes to get the point, the uh, payload to the next point. So it's going to be either can Chicken Dwarf get the hooks that he wants. He's going to be trying to rotate around. Actually, the rest of them going to be rotating around see if they can get a pick through the door. And they get the hook onto Rafong. That might not be what they want. But Alter going left or right. Dram Daddy uses Deadeye and takes down three. And Slam Ducky uses Dragons. They pop four of their ults to win that fight. Marietta pops only two. And Muskingum will win that fight. So a huge combination there with the beat, the dragon, the dead eye, everything. Now Marietta has about three minutes to push the payload. Chatter is ready for Mary for uh, for Muskingum. Marietta has three ultis ready to go. Tries Chicken Door tries to get the hook, does not connect. Chicken Door goes down, but does get the rest. And I cannot control these cameras for the life of me. Once again, Shaggy Dwarf is trying to get a camera. The Shatter does come out by Muskingum. And Rafab is going to be pushing people off and ends up taking down two for Marietta. It does end up sleeping in the back line, but the rest of Muskingum is going to be able to follow through and win the team fight. Marietta is struggling. They were doing so well, but now they're just getting picked off one by one. And that... I don't know why you would stay there. The fight has, the, the fight has lost. Why would you stick around there? Now that just aggravates even more. We're going to see another hook by Shaken Dwarf, but there's just not going to be any follow-up with that. Mary's going to have to wait for everyone to respawn. I think Shaken Dwarf was looking for a hook into the river, but not going to get anyone. High Noon's going to be coming out again and takes down C4 Gamer. It actually gets another kill onto Azale, so that's already two down for the Pioneers. The fight has lost, and Mary's just going to have to fall back and reset. So another team kill for Muskinga. But Marietta had an early start. But Muskingum has been able to stall the Pioneers. A minute and a half remains. And Marietta has to get another team fight. They haven't, been, haven't won a single team fight ever since they got the point of this. Pfizer comes out for Shadow Dragon. Look to try to get a pick. But Muskinga will rotate around. Whole Hog is going to be used, and all that's doing is just buying space at this point. It does didn't actually get any kills. They do get a hook onto the Zarya. Gravity Flow comes out, and so does Shatter. Let me see, Rafon trying to get a pick, but now Muskinga is picking off the Pioneers one by one. And with that, Muskinga wins another team fight. Marietta got one pick, but Muskinga was able to follow through and take out the back line. Yeah, it seems like the one issue that Marietta has is protecting their backline. But with that, C4 Gamer does get the pick onto Slam Ducky, so that might be exactly what uh, Mary needs. But now we see Trev Daddy way off to the side. High Nude's coming out. Doesn't get anyone, so great situational awareness by Harmful Hades to see where he's at and protect the team, because that would have been game ender. Shatter comes out, does not connect, but Rafam does end up going down. That might be Marietta's chance to push in the payload. They have to continue pushing. They have to win the team fight here. Dread Daddy is in the back line trying to do something, but he's going to get hooked. He's going to fall down. So now, can Marietta hold this? If, let's see if they can at least get to the next control point. But Muskinga only has dragons up. They're probably going to be popping it here. Nano's going to come out for the... for oh, Dragons comes out. It's a one-for-one -one trade onto the Reinhardts. And another one-for-one -one trade there. Can Marietta take this? They are ahead, technically, but Muskingum is starting to fall back onto the point. Shatter comes out. It's a huge shatter there by Rafam. Trev Daddy is going to take down Azadale and C4 Gamer. And it's looking like Muskingum is going to hold Marietta off the point, and they just don't get back there in time.
All right, the win condition has been set. So if Muskingum gets the payload to just about the second control point, they will win the match. So we'll see if Marietta can hold. Like they had a good start, but it seemed like the problem is they they start the fight, they get the engage, but it's almost like they don't know what to do next. And Muskingum knows what to do next. So even in the middle of the fight, there might be a breakdown in communication on what's the next target is. It's almost like, okay, we got this one kill. What do we do next? And I don't see that follow through happening. Whereas Muskingum kind of knows exactly what to do next. They get this person and this person and this person. All right, let's see if Marietta can hold Muskinga. This is basically match point. The win condition is set for Muskinga. Get the point over there and they win. And Slime Ducky gets an early pick on the C4 game. That's not what Marietta needs. Now we see... Yeah, Shaken Door tried to go into the back lines and he's going to get booped off by the Ash. And now is going to be able to push. And Muskingo is going to just take so much space and use their own uh, Roadhog to be able to just take out the Pioneers one by one. But Marietta is struggling. I think they're trying to go for some uh, quick plays and it just backfires on them. Now Muskinga is going to be able to take this first point, it looks like, without too much trouble. Bob, Bob's going to be coming out for Muskingum and just going into the back line to take down the support, having to use the lamppost as cover. But yeah, there's just no answer to this Bob. Now he finally goes away. Marietta is holding, though, with that said. But now Hulk is going to be coming out for Shaken Dwarf, and Marietta does end up holding. Despite the fact that Bob's in the back line, great hook on there, take out Rafam. Alright, Bob's coming out again for Muskinga. And they're going to have to take care of this Bob if they're going to want to be able to hold. The Bob is starting to rip through shields and Muskinga does end up taking the first point and ends up using Hold Hog to push everyone onto the river. So Marriott is going to have to fall back. Four minutes remain. Marriott is going to have to find a stop here. Otherwise, Muskinga will take the series. Muskingum is getting the, the uh, payload very close to the point. Muskingum is getting a lot of space, and Marina is just not capitalizing on it. The point's almost already there. They're trying to go for a fight, but is anyone paying attention to the payload? Now they're finally to the payload, but it took so long to get over there. They, Muskingum got so much space. And they're still there to contest it. They are getting the picks, though. They are taking them down one by one, but now they got to push this payload back. The payload is so close to the win condition that if Muskinga wins one more team fight, that's it. So right now, Marion does have three alts ready to go, almost four. Muskinga has three alts ready to go. But now Muskinga is going to be looking for the engage. The Ash Dynamite does come out. 
Mario has got to be very careful. They cannot lose this team fight. If Mario, if Vizcaya wins this team fight, that's it. Dragon comes out, and so does Transcends. And Bob is going straight in. So, and here comes the Bob as well. Two have already fallen for Marietta. That might be it. Using the Graviton Flux to bring Marietta up, but I think that's going to be it, folks. The team is pretty much down. And that's going to be it, folks. Uh, Muskinga will win. But yeah, just overall very good coordination by the, the Muskies. Take it out three with the dead eye. But all right, so with that, uh, Muskingum will win the match against uh, Marietta. Someone needs to show how it's done. But all right, uh, so once again, congratulations to the Muskies on a, a very strong performance. I think overall with Marietta, they did. They did okay, but the I think just some team fight communication is the issue. They get the engage, but there doesn't seem to be really the follow up. But all right, so we're gonna take a, a small break here. Um, it looks like from where I can, yeah. So I, I don't know exactly how things are going with the League of Legends match. So it may be a little bit before we can get the. Uh, stream up and well, we'll keep the stream up, but it may be a little bit before we can have the League of Legends match up and running. Uh, so we're gonna take a break, and once we have everything set up, we will get the uh, match to you. So uh, don't go away. You're watching Marriott College Esports, and hope that we'll be back in a little bit with our League of Legends match against Grace College.